Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about gold. Uh, now, my Novograph say buy gold instead of Bitcoin. Also, Coinbase IPO coming up. And uh, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming video. That could be time sensitive. Also, hit the notification bell as well. And also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv, as well as Patreon. For my Patreon member, I post a whole bunch of video. And uh, FOMO into Tesla. Should we FOMO into Tesla now? Or Tesla's secret. Um, also, coronavirus, uh, whether you should get a coronavirus vaccine. Uh, which gold and silver coin has high resale value and how to trade like a pro. And of course, there's a next, next Tezos. If you miss Tezos, there's another coin potentially will be the, just like the next Tezos. If you're interested, you can join my Patreon group. And of course, uh, Brave Browser, if you haven't installed it, uh, you can check it out because it blocks advertising and also serving the internet faster as well. You, if you're interested, you can click the link below. Okay, let's talk about my Novograph. So my Novograph talk about right now buy, big, uh, buy gold instead of Bitcoin. And he is very bullish on Bitcoin. Now he said buy gold instead. And for now, I guess, <clears throat> in case you don't know him, he is the founder of Galaxy Digital. And he's a Wall Street guy. And he made millions of Ethereum when Ethereum was less than a dollar. So now he said buy gold instead of Bitcoin. And uh, I think uh, he talked about that in the CNBC Fast Money. That is pretty interesting. But the thing is, um, I just post a video about uh, there's a, another thing that has a higher rate of return than gold. And it is undervalued right now. So I just post a video, higher return than gold. If you are interested, you can join my Patreon group. So that is much more um, undervalued than gold right now. So you can check it out. So... <clears throat> So let's uh, let's continue. And he talked about that in Fast Money. That's very interesting that he talked about it right now when gold was at all time high, like 1,800. And he didn't talk about it when gold was like 1,002 or 1,004, right? Uh, well, if you follow my channel, I have been talking about uh, gold uh, for quite some time. And so uh, in an interview with Reuters in 2018, he stated that his biggest regret was not purchasing enough Bitcoin or Ethereum. But yesterday in the interview, he talked about gold is, is, is about time gold is the time to shine. And also because the central bankers are printing and printing, printing as if like there's no tomorrow. So maybe one of the reasons, I guess. And uh, not only that, there's a lot of other reasons as well. And <clears throat> he also talked about uh, because uh, right now, Bitcoin is still in earlier in the adoption cycle. And um, if it was easier to buy, it would be a lot higher because Bitcoin is still hard to buy. And there was more and more people making it easier to buy because there's a whole bunch of ETF or funds to set it up. And then they have a custodial uh, helping them to store the Bitcoin. But the thing is, a lot of ETF, uh, those may not be 100% backed by Bitcoin as well. The thing is, if you don't hold your Bitcoin, you don't hold your token. You don't, uh, you don't hold your private key, you don't hold your Bitcoin. That's the that's the key thing. If you live it in exchange, you don't ho you don't own your Bitcoin at, at all, and um, and also he make a whole bunch of uh, predictions. He talk about hey, uh, Bitcoin is going to twenty thousand by twenty nineteen. But well, after the halving, that's uh, I don't think Bitcoin go to twenty thousand, right? So he make a, uh, that his prediction may not be correct as well. But let me know what you think about gold. And now he's changing his position. His position. Let me know what you think about that. Please comment below. So next stop, we're going to talk about Coinbase IPO coming up uh, in 2020 or early 2021. Yeah, you you better rush, to, you better, uh, you know, catching uh, the last train because right now, after the election, I don't know if there if the, there's reason to pump the market seriously. I mean, so right now the stock market is at all time high. It's a very good time to do IPO. Actually, all the tech stock is like pumping, pumping like crazy. Everything is like insanely high. You know, uh, if you just if you just look at the chart, all the tech stock is like at all time high at this time right now. It's very good for the company who is in the technology sector. You go to IPO, they can make uh, billions out of it, you know. So Coinbase, uh, right now they said uh, Coinbase value at eight billion, and they're talking about potentially not doing IPO. They just want to do direct listing 
uh, on the on the stock market uh, instead of traditional initial public offering. So for the initial public offering, basically you have a IPO price, right? And of course they want to get the most of their money, and also it's a good time for the founder to cash out seri uh, seriously, right? Most of the IPO is a founder to cash out seriously, and uh, only maybe some other maybe some other handful of company they are not cashing out. They are still continue on their journey to make something greater but the thing is a lot of them a lot of them they just want to cash out seriously <clears throat> and um, so right now instead of doing the traditional IPO I, they, they just want to do direct listing basically and and come based the most recent private financing 300 million value at 8 billion wow this is insane and there's some other IPO like Go Health uh, and Enzino they are switching from direct listing uh, over from uh, over the IPO. Uh, I guess the reason is because you can you can speculate uh, if even higher, and then you can make billions billions out of it. And the thing is, the media report a twenty seventeen revenue for the uh, Coinbase is one billion. Of course, at the time you have a crypto mania. At the time, uh, the Bitcoin is at all time high at twenty thousand. Everybody want to open a Coinbase account. If a grandma want to get in, so but the thing is, twenty eighteen we are in a bear market. We but the thing is, uh, we don't know how Coinbase will perform at twenty eighteen because it's a private company. We don't know how much revenue. But in twenty seventeen, at all time high is one billion. So uh, we'll see. I mean, <clears throat> that is very interesting. Uh, it's worth eight billion. Do you think uh Coinbase uh worth eight billion? Let me know what you think. Uh, please comment below. Do you think it's a time uh, IPO is a way for the founder to cash out as well? Um, right? Uh, it, this is interesting to see. Yeah. yeah, Just like I think Uber, when people want to uh, do the IPO for Uber, I, I, I mean, seriously, forget about Uber. I mean, uh, they have too many competition as well as um, they are already finished the growth, growth cycle, the acceleration growth cycle, they're already done. I mean, but anyway, I could be wrong as well, right? Uh, when people talk about Lyft and all these things, uh, IPO, I'm not that excited at all. I don't know why at the time people are so excited. I guess, anyway. Let me know what you think about all this. I would love to hear from you. If you find this video uh, helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming video. That could be time sensitive. Also hit the notification bell as well. So, be, so make sure you don't miss uh, the upcoming videos. And also you can follow me, of course, on Twitter, library.tv, as well as Patreon. And um, a lot of things I can't even talk about in YouTube anymore because right now, nowadays, you know, it's not like it used to be. You can say anything you want. A lot of uh, more controversial subject, I put it in Patreon. And um, because if I say it in YouTube, I may potentially get banned. I mean, I already get banned, uh, I think, I think last, last year, Christmas time. So <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to uh, say something that they don't like. I mean, unfortunately, this is this is the twentieth century. Uh, ex especially right now. Uh, right now, there's so even more censor censorship than used to be. Unfortunately, so uh, comment below. I would love to hear from you, and this will help my ranking in YouTube as well. And I will continue to provide quality video for you guys. And remember, crypto deep divers. We the people take control of our money. Stay wise. Stay safe. Peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, and stock market can have inherent risk with your due diligence. I'm not your financial advisor, and I'm not responsible for any loss in this video or future video or, or past videos. This is not a financial advice. You should use your due diligence, cons consult your financial planner. Peace out.